Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Mana Pro Harris Farm Nurture Right 360 Digital Incubator and the Matacoops Digital Incubator. I'll tell you which one's my favorite, but first let's look at the pros and cons between the two. Now both of these are similar in a lot of ways. They have the auto stop egg turners, they have the external water wells, they're 360 degree views. Uh, we're not going into detail about all of the similarities. If you want to see a full review on each or either of these, you'll find that linked at the end of this video, so stick around for that. What we're going to talk about today are the different categories in which one of these is a clear winner. So first let's look at the displays. There's a lot of similarities between both of these. The instructions are really similar on how to use them. Uh, so you see that what is different about these is one where I think the nurture right is a clear winner is the LED here and with this colored bright LED lighting you can tell what's going on with your incubator even across the room in dim lighting I love that this on the other hand with the Matacoops is not easy to read unless you're standing right there with plenty of light there's no backlit LED so um, that I think clearly the nurture right is the winner when it comes to the displays one thing about the display that I do wish the nurture right had is your countdown the nurture right does have your days to countdown but you have to push this menu button to see it now that may not be a big deal to you and it's definitely not the most important differences between these but in that category the nurture right definitely wins with these bright lit leds now next we're going to talk about the lids in general both of them are great i feel like the nurture right is a little easier to see everything in but that might be because it's a little bit smaller incubator where these two differ greatly however is the matacoops is really easy to sit down and lock into place and get it on right the nurture right however for for some reason it's harder to get it to line up and harder to get it to seat down in there right and if you're not careful you'll leave a gap which is going to lose heat and humidity so when it comes to that i think matacoops definitely wins that challenge they did a lot better job designing and fitting this lid to the base all right, the next feature is the candler. Now this, for me, was a major disappointment with the Nurture Right. Uh, in fact, I gave up candling on the Nurture Right 360 and just did all of my candling on the Matacoops incubator. They both have bright LEDs, which is fantastic. The problem comes in where the Nurture Right has this white plastic uh, exterior that allows light pollution to come through the plastic and shine on the outside of your eggshell when that happens it makes it very hard to see what's inside of it the Matacoops on the other hand has this thick dark cover and when you put the egg on here no light passes through and it gets a good seal and you can see a lot better what's going on inside your egg so this category candling the Matacoops has the clear advantage and is the clear winner now that doesn't mean you have to give up on the nurture right altogether I think a simple solution to that would be to put some electrical tape or some duct tape here on this cover and just cut a hole out in the center uh, you shouldn't have to do that to candle your eggs however if you have one of these that would be my suggestion to you now when it comes to temperature uh, I will say the Matacoops incubator held the temperature the most stable i did see some fluctuations with the nurture right now when i say fluctuations i mean from 99.5 degrees to 100 degrees in fact you can see that happening right now with this nurture right it's going back and forth between the two i did not have that problem with the matacoops incubator it got to 99.5 and it held a steady reading nonstop. I never saw it fluctuate. In fact, now you can see here no fluctuation, whereas this one is bouncing around a little bit between. Again, perfectly within the range that you need to hatch chicks. Probably does not affect anything for you whatsoever. However, I just trust the stabilizing technology that the Matacoops has over the Nurture Ride. Humidity. Is a different story. Humidity for the uh, Matacoops is really easy to control. I had a hard time with the Nurture Right uh, getting it to stabilize. 
Now, it would stabilize, but about the time you get it stabilized, you're putting more water in it and it throws it back off. I spent a lot of time adjusting the window here to try to control my humidity on the nurture ride. I did not have to do that on Matacoops. So now let's take a look inside of them. When it comes to your egg trays, Matacoops is the winner for capacity. Uh, this will hold 30 eggs as opposed to the nurture right, which is only going to hold 22. Uh, and I am referring to chicken eggs. So uh, Matacoops definitely has more capacity than the nurture right. However, that might not be a big deal to you. So let's talk about the features of the egg trays a little bit. And I'm just going to start with the nurture right. Right off the bat, I was disappointed with this because you have different types of egg turners for different types of eggs. Now this one here is for chicken eggs. Uh, if you want to do large eggs, you have to get a egg turner that will handle the large eggs. If you want to do small eggs like quail eggs, you need to get a turner that will handle the small eggs. I have heard of one person that says they do the quail eggs in this chicken egg tray and it's fine, but recommendation of the manufacturer as well as other people says that you need to get the tray made for quail eggs because this one can bust your eggs. So for me, that is just right off the bat, a, a very strong con because you have to purchase additional items to have the versatility that the Matacoops has just built into it because you can put any type of egg in these trays, um, whether they're quail eggs, chicken eggs, goose eggs, with the exception of if you're doing some really huge large egg, it's just it's made to accommodate any type of egg that you typically would be hatching. Uh, and I like that a lot better. The egg turner and the nurture right is, I mean, silent. You cannot hear the egg turner moving as opposed to the fan, which you can hear going all the time. The fan on the nurture ride gives a constant hum. The fan on the Matacoops, dead silent. You never hear it. You don't even know it's running unless you put your hand on it. And it's so funny to me that they're exact opposite when it comes to the egg turners because this one is silent. You won't know it's turning. This one you can hear from across the room. So um, that might be a pro, it might be a con. It really depends on you. If you're, if you're putting eggs in this one and you're trying to figure out if it is turning the eggs, you have to mark the egg to know that the egg turner has moved. You mark uh, with a pencil, a little X or a circle or something on top of the egg, that will tell you whether it's moved. It's pretty obvious in the Matacoops because it rocks back and forth. So if it's changed position, it's moved. On the other side of that, as much as I love the egg trays with the Matacoops, they are a lot harder to remove when you're candling or when you're taking them out and putting your eggs in the bottom of the tray for the last three days to hatch. Uh, you have to take each individual one out. You got to remove the eggs from it. Uh, so not a big deal, but look at this. When I'm ready to take the turner out on this nurture ride, I don't have to take the eggs out of the trays. I don't have to do anything except lift this tray right out. My eggs will still be laying right there. Um, now if you got it on a little bit of a slant they might roll a little bit but one fluid motion and boom you're done. So when it comes to removing the egg tray that definitely is a lot more convenient. The other thing with these however is you do not have the option to hatch your eggs vertically with the pointy end down. In the nursery right, you have to lay them on the side. In the Matacoops you can put your eggs vertically and have that pointy end down. For some people that doesn't make a difference. Some people may prefer horizontal. Personally, I've had better experiences when I've done mine vertically and it gives you more space to hatch eggs. So for me, this is more of a positive uh, in that respect than this. I, I like to have my eggs vertical when I'm hatching them, but you know, that may just be more of a preference and maybe more experiential in nature. When it comes to cleaning, I think the, the Nurturite wins in that aspect by a hair. And the reason being the Nurturite's motor comes straight up through the bottom and it has an O-ring between the motor and the plastic which keeps it from leaking down into your motor so you can clean this out a lot easier than you can with the Matacoops which has the motor under here. And so when I'm cleaning the Matacoops out, I need to make sure that I'm keeping it turned in such a way that water is not go going to get under there and leak back into my motor. 
if I'm holding it this way per se, and I'm spraying it or washing it and the water gets here, it's gonna leak back down into my motor. Now let's talk about hatch rate. The Matacoops wins hands down. The first two batches that I did, I got a 100% hatch rate with both of them. The first batch had um, 11 eggs uh, that were fertile that hatched out. The second batch had 23 eggs that were fertile that hatched out. And this one I had nine eggs, seven hatched, which isn't bad, but between day seven and day 14, two of them died. So overall, my hatch rate in the Matacoops higher that speaks for itself for me that this is a quality incubator but again the nurturite will hatch eggs okay and the final category is price at the time of filming this and i can't say that this won't change but at the time of filming this the matacoops incubator is 36 dollars less than the nurturite 360. So in my opinion there's a clear winner the matacoops digital incubator the nurturite will hatch eggs I'm not telling you that it's a bad incubator. However, it's more expensive. It's not the same level of quality that I feel like we get from the Matacoops. And overall, weighing that out in the balance, I've got to go with the cheaper one that's better quality. But hey, that's my opinion. Ultimately, you have to make your own decision based on the pros and the cons. If you think the Nurture Right is a better incubator for you, let me know what it is about it that wins out over the Matacoops. And if you wanna see a full review on the Matacoops incubator, you can check that out right here. And if you want to see a full review on the Nurture Right, you can check that out right here. If you found this comparison valuable and you're thinking of purchasing either one of these, would you do us a favor? Use our affiliate link in the description below. That helps support us so that we can continue to make content like this. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and we will see you next time.